Good job, we've got a quieter week this one, but we had some really exciting stories from all of you who joined us at Hyde Park. So we had the 5k and 10k there, and then we had Battersea Half Marathon, not too far away. And then we had our Victoria Park event, which was 5k, 10k and half marathon, our Dorney Lake 5k, 10k, half marathon and duathlon. And then up in the north, we had Tatton Park, 5k, 10k, and we had our Croft Motor Circuit Running GP event, and we had multiple distances there, and that was way up north. So hopefully you all had a fantastic time. It looked like you all had a great weekend. So we want to celebrate quite a few of your stories. It's a little bit busier this week. So we're going to go straight into the Wall of Fame. So our first person over here, we're going to be hitting Tatton Park first, so the 5k and 10k, but our Erin here, uh, she did her first race in 10 years, so she's come Amazing. back after a 10 year break and uh, she did her 5k in 27.20, she was really happy with her time and you look super happy here. So massive well done to you Erin. Well Next up we cross over to Battersea Park and we have the lovely Helen here who joined us for the half marathon on Saturday. She now has a PB of 129.23, so super speedy. It's a great event. We were both at Battersea, weren't we? Yeah. So it was nice. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Great course for PBs, which you've obviously smashed out of the park here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, come back and see us again soon. And well done, Helen. Well done. Next up, we're over at Victoria Park here for the half marathon. Isabella grabbed a PB. So speedy, all of you lot. One hour, 36.25. Um, Victoria Park also very flat, very good for the old PB, even though it was a little bit more wet on Sunday, but you obviously still smashed it. So massive well done to you, and hopefully you're resting up in the wall. <laughs> Next up, we head up north to Amy, who joined us at Croft Man Motor Circuit on Monday. It was your first race of 2024, nice. which is exciting. Mm -hmm. Brand new event to get your first race in. Yeah. You looked great, you looked really happy, so well done. Come back for your second race of 2024. Yeah, hopefully we'll see you soon. And then next up we had Krina here at Hyde Park. So again, another wonderful sunny day, I believe. And uh, this was your first ever 10K race and you finished bang on one hour. That would have been really nice to see the numbers. <laughs> Love the numbers. Bang on one hour, which is incredible for your first ever 10K. And again, a nice flat route there and a beautiful park to run in. So a huge well done to you. Hopefully it's the first of many. Well done. And next up, we go to Dorney Lake and we have Ginny here who joined us for the half marathon. I know you said you were training for Elizabeth Half next weekend, which is really exciting. This you, weekend. This weekend, sorry, look out for Emma. because Emma will also I will be there, there. see you there, half, running buddy. Really exciting. Another wet one by the sounds of it, but you smashed a half marathon and well done. Good luck for Lisbon. Yeah, nice good luck, see you there. Well done. And we have a slightly quieter week this week, which is quite <laughs> nice in the north and the south. We've got our Crystal Palace event down here in the south. We've got the 5K, 10K, half marathon and the junior race going on. And then up north, we have got our Nantwich 10K, which is very exciting. So we only have the Southern medals. So here we have the Crystal Palace medal. So if you're gonna come along to Crystal Palace, take those pictures, because there's always been love to have a look and you might end up on the Wall of Fame. So you yeah, take those medal pics, Tag us, hashtag run for UK, because you might end up here and we love having a look through pictures and see what you've been up to. So yeah, do let us know what you will be doing. Give us a tag, a hashtag, let us know in the comments what you're racing at the weekend because we'd love to know where you're at. And hopefully you'll be on the Wall of Fame next week. Exactly. Who knows? Um, we have quite a couple of, of news bits this week. News bits, we do, <laughs> which is exciting. We love a little bit of news. Mm -hmm. So first up, we want to give a little bit of a shout out to Peter Marshall who is our volunteer of the month this month. Um, Peter is great, he's come to quite a few of our events, always really happy, quite a few of you have probably seen him, he was at Crystal Palace mm -hmm. and a couple of other events recently, so shout out to him for being one of our wonderful volunteers. 
And talking of volunteers, we always want to grow our volunteer team. So if you want to come along and join us, if you're not running one weekend, or you've got family and friends running, you're not family running, come and join us, come and cheer them on. I'm um, always looking to grow our little volunteer family. So mm -hmm. drop us an email, volunteer at runpeople.co.uk, and we will get you the details. Especially, we are looking for Hampton Court Palace yep. and our Henley event down in the south. So if you're interested in any of them, let us know. Mm -hmm. Yep, and speaking of which, not only do we need the volunteers, it's going to be a huge, huge event, so that's why we need your help. But also, if you are not volunteering, which obviously we'd love to have you there as a volunteer, you can also still come run, and there are still entries, but you need to get them in quick because they are normally very, very popular, especially mm -hmm. our Hampton Court Palace event, which is the 24th of March. Um, so definitely get your entries in because that one is one that will sell out. Yeah. So make sure you get your entries in for that. And then there's a couple of other ones I thought I'd just you know throw out there just in case you fancy something, you needed a little motivation. We've got our Wolverhampton 10K in the north and we've got our Henley event as mentioned before which is an incredible one and it's so beautiful. So if you are looking for something um, that's coming up shortly, definitely get your entries in. And we've of course got our Good Friday Victoria Park, so another one, 5K, 10K and half. So if you're looking to smash your previous personal best, you might want to come back on Good Friday. So hopefully, if you've got a day off, you can come join us then. Yeah, why not? What a great way to spend your Good Friday. Indeed, get those entries in quick. And of course, we're going to finish off with a wonderful quote. Um, so this one was very much to open the book and just surprise ourselves. So hopefully, it's a good one. <laughs> Life is 10% what happens to me and 90% of how I react to it. So just going to repeat that one more time. Life is 10% of what happens to me and 90% of how I react to it. A life lesson, I believe. A life lesson, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so whether or not, because I know there's a lot of people that are injured out there, I've heard it quite a lot recently. So just remember it's what you do with that mm -hmm. and how you get, how to push forward from there. So I know it sucks, it's horrible. I've been there myself, but maybe yeah, just apply having, you know, that, to your day that could just change up your week and hopefully you can just be proactive yeah. and then go to the, the <laughs> get to better days yes. you'll get there you're proactive not reactive there we go that's yeah. that's what i was trying to say <laughs> so yeah hopefully you've taken all of that in uh, we'll see you soon best of luck if you're racing with us and on to the next one which will be number 200 exciting